yeah, I see a hole there. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Lefty. Come on, you're going to get poked. Hey. Come on. Come on. Okay, well here's the remnants. So let's take a look. So here you can see this is a total failure of the tape. This whole bracket is gone and the one screw ripped out. Absolutely ripped right out of the roof. Here's a bracket that remains, but the bolt ripped through and stayed with the panels. Same thing on this one here. That one you can really see the distortion where the bolt ripped through. Now up here along the leading edge, this tape is entirely gone. So there's three of them up here and this is where I really failed. I should have had many, many more brackets along this leading edge. And instead of this one bracket here, I should have had another closer to the corner. Because look at this distance here. So you can see the corner of the panels. So this whole corner on both sides was not supported. So the wind was able to kick up under the corner of these panels and just wear and wear and wear. Now, it's amazing that these three brackets, the tape totally failed. It's gone. Over the, on that one, there's a little bit of tape left, but for the most part, the tape totally released and picked up right off the roof. Now, right there, that bracket, the bolt remains, but the panel's gone. So the panel aluminum itself, the bolt tore through it, the bolt head. So what I can see that is a fail is the washers need to be substantially larger around to keep them from being able to pull through the holes. So imagine this one here, if it had a washer that was an inch in diameter underneath, it would have helped it from being able to rip right through there. So, so let's count how many brackets we had. So we had one, two, three across the back, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So this right here is the main reason that I had a failure and lost those panels. I didn't have enough brackets. Uh, looking back on this, I don't know how I ended up with only 10 brackets per three panels. That's just ridiculous. Um, when we installed these at the van build last year, I didn't run out of brackets. I don't know why I only ended up with 10 and never thought anything more about it. But if I had had 20 brackets up there, those panels wouldn't have come off. My fault. And should have had way, way more brackets than that. The problem is there's no bracketry in the center. So you had this three panel uh, array up here that were connected side to side with self-tapping screws through the frames. And they held because when I looked back and this thing was up in the air, they were still connected together, sailing like a sheet of plywood. So imagine this same three panel array right here, about 30 feet up in the air, sailing along like a sheet of plywood. That's what I saw in my side view mirror when I looked. Gosh, if I only had a camera running, <laughs> that would have been great. So what I did, and, and I think I picked up video of it, after that happened, I pulled off at the next available exit, and I added additional brackets um, here, 
over there on that corner and then I added two additional down the left side because the wind was coming from the the left side of the truck during that whole drive so I added two additional ones at the corners of that side and I ran out of brackets at that point if I had more I would have kept adding brackets so these are the ones I added uh, I had to zip into the frame this way as opposed to the bolt trying to get these bolted you know with the panel attached to the roof next to impossible on the side of the road you know i mean i guess it could be done but it take a lot of work because you got to get up in there and get a bolt and washers and just uh i couldn't do it so i zip zipped and then zip zipped and these um these are held in, these are in here and i think um, I'm gonna add more brackets. I'm not removing these three panels because they're taped down. They don't show any signs of release or fatigue. So I'm just gonna add a bunch more brackets and then cover all of these um, with uh, the weather tape. Um, the, this tape that I have on these brackets up here. I don't know why I don't have it on these uh, inside brackets or these front side brackets here because I do have them uh, uh, down the side and across the back and up the other side. So I don't know why I didn't uh, put them on here. I'm confused as to why I did that. So, so I'm gonna, um, I have to get these uh, remaining brackets off. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do, I took a piece of mechanics wire here and two screwdrivers, and I'm gonna see if I can use this wire to shimmy uh, under the tape and cut it so that I can get it removed because I know this tape is going to fight me so here's where Here's my combiner that combined the two strings or the two arrays together and this is where the wire pulled off for the three panels that that uh, flew off and the same thing I got up here and zip tied all these down after it happened so they weren't flailing around but um the other combiner exact same thing the wire just and pulled right out leaving the remaining string still functioning which is just incredible that uh that everything still um, was wired up and working uh, after that catastrophe so thank goodness what i'd like to do is put brackets through the center uh, so instead of having them connected together like this i'd like to run brackets down the middle so imagine if you know that means i'll have to space them apart uh, the width of a bracket so you can see i've got some room before i hit the, uh, the lip here so i've got uh, enough space say that's the width of a bracket and another half same thing on the other side so if i put brackets on the sides of the panels and then the sides of the panel next to it but stagger them so they're not right next to each other i only need to leave the width of the uh the bracket so i should be able to do it if i have it looks like i'm going to be able to do it i'm going to get up here with a tape measure but just eyeball and i'll be able to do it i'll be able to put brackets down the middle which um, is going to add a whole lot of more uh, rigidity to it so i'm going to work on getting these brackets removed this morning
Anybody else paranoid when using razor blade tools? <laughs> Can you see that? See how there's dirt under this edge? Yep. You know, compare that to that one that had no dirt, but the tape failed nonetheless. This one, the tape didn't fail, but the bolt ripped right through with hardly even well, some distortion, but man, some bigger washers would have really gone a long way there. So, suggest, don't just use the washers that come with the Z-brackets. Get some large diameter with the correct ID and use them instead. See the size of these washers. It's just pathetic. Good lord. That's that can be done way better. So imagine a I guess I see why, so that you could have this bolt go all the way up to the <laughs> to the inside of the adjustment capsule there. Ellipse, whatever you want to call it, I call it capsule. But um Definitely needs to be a larger diameter washer, both both underneath and on the top. So these, uh, I've talked about these before. These are rich solar. Let's see if I can get that readable. Rich solar. They've performed excellently. Totally my fault that they came off. Had nothing to do with the quality of the panels. And it's unfortunate because this week it's going to be in the 90s. And I really would like to run my AC without having to use the generator. But that's what the generator's for. So we'll stay comfortable just with the sound of a generator running outside. All right, thank you everybody for coming along with me. 
letting me show you what I did wrong, why the panels came off the roof. So thank you everybody, everybody take care, be safe, and we'll see you very soon.